everyone, Shane here. Thanks for dropping by and looking into my video. Not made one for ooh, five or six weeks now. Thank you very much to everyone who sent me comments saying happy birthday. I'm the big 6-0. I'm an old, officially an old git. <laughs> well, I've not, yeah, I've not made a video for six weeks. I've been on my holidays. I have made a video, it's been completed and I was not happy with it so I made another video, that's been completed but I've not bothered uploading it. I've, uh, this video by the way is not sponsored but it is in conjunction with uh, Fiachi and One Leaf who have sent me products in the past to review and I've got to keep and uh, give my opinion on them. So uh, like I say it's not sponsored but uh, in conjunction with uh, partnerships as it were, who have, well when they can send me stuff to review. So um, what I've been doing in the last six weeks, I've been on my holidays on the east coast to uh, my son, my youngest son who's 36 I think he is, he gets married next year, the first one of my children to get married so next October he gets married. What else? I've been on my holidays, I've bought loads of photographic equipment, new tripods, new cameras, new lenses, all sorts, because that is a, a big time hobby of mine that I've been into for 40 years. Probably as the same sort of time as, uh, as shooting. But uh, somebody commented on one of my videos yesterday. It was a pistol shooting video, I don't do that many of them, but saying, can you shoot your pistol with one hand? And I looked at uh, his comments, I looked at the video and um, I was shooting the, I think it was the SMK CP1, the one with the little wooden, wooden uh, grip. And I was shooting it with two hands. So I will be uh, doing a video shooting that today with one hand. How good I do, I don't know. I haven't shot it for... Ooh, probably three or four months maybe something like that so I'm not expecting to be particularly that good it's a measured distance of 12.6 meters I did have some uh, I did I, I did it in my kitchen originally because if it's raining or windy I can still stand there and shoot I don't rely on good weather so those days where I was going to go shooting down the rifle range as it were today was one of them but I didn't go I could just open the kitchen door with me with a rowdy t-shirt, this is a, I dug this out of my wardrobe, it's um, it's about 18 years old, I had it all sprayed, custom sprayed, while I was on my holidays in Great Yarmouth, about 17, 18 years ago, I had a Fireblade, a Honda Fireblade motorbike at the time, I've had four of those, crashed one of them, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's why I'm wearing this rather loudy t-shirt, so I apologise for that, if it's a bit, uh, got to get your sunglasses on. So yeah, I'm going to do, this shoots a little CO2, it's powered, not shoots, it's powered by the CO2 con con container, con whatever you want to call it, little bulb. And I can't remember how many shots you actually get out of one of them, I think it's virgin on the 30. So my plan is, shoot three, three targets of 10 shots each. On my last target, if it starts going a bit haywire and a bit rubbish, I won't be using excuses, it will be that the gun is losing power because it's coming to the end of its uh, air pressure. The CO2 cartridge is coming to the end of its pressure, so if the last few shots start going all over the place, it's not me. It could be me, of course, but it's very likely to be the CO2 um, canister. Because I can't remember if it was 34, 35, or if it was 24 or 25 shots it did. So uh, we'll have to play that one by ear. But I thought somebody left a comment, and I did put in the comments, well I can shoot a pistol with one hand, um, Olympic people will probably be rolling around with tears coming out of their eyes, because A, it's not a, a top quality gun, I got it from Palpax, they sent me an email saying they got some things on offer, I looked through the offers and that was one of them, and it was only 66 UK pounds at the time, about a year and a half ago, and I thought for that sort of money, it's... Uh, it's got to be worth buying or at least trying, so I bought it. I think the normal price is about £150-£265 for one of those guns. And you can have some fun with one, especially in your, in your garden. They're not very powerful. I think it's something like four, four foot pounds. But good enough for, um, you know, I've got my target down the garden. And when the wife's not got the washing out now and again, I'll, I'll get it out and uh, have a few shots. 
Sometimes I cheat and hold it with two hands, but today I won't, it'll be one-handed. I'm left-handed, so we'll see how I do it. Could be totally rubbish. As long as all my pellets hit the target holder, I'll be happy. Anything after that is a bonus, because I'll be ashamed of myself if I start missing that. Uh, I'm not going to cause any damage beyond the fence before any, before the little tippy-tappy people right. get. So uh, I'll make these videos just for the fun of it. If you don't like it, or you don't agree with what I say, that's fine about anything. That's fine. We're all individual people with our own thoughts. Yeah. Move but on. Uh, I do get some nice comments, and I've even got some Facebook friends that are uh, subscribed to my channel. So thank you very much to everybody, and let's start some shooting. Fantastic sturdy hard case this is. I got it from uh, Solware in Tamworth. It was about, I think it was about £37. I've had it about a year and a half now. Combination type. I don't use the combination. I'll, I'll forget the numbers. But uh, I've not used this gun for a while. Never used, uh, never used the magazine. I don't know if I've got another one in the box the gun came with. If it comes with two or what. I'm not sure. And I don't remember using these Diablo pellets either. I normally use the R10 ones, but um, let's have a look. I'll sort them out into three piles. And I don't know how good these pellets. See, I'm making excuses already. But uh, here's the little gun. A little CP1M Victory. Yep. I've had this gun about a year and a half now. It's been. A, I haven't used it on a regular basis. I don't even know if the battery's okay on the uh, red dot holographic whatever you want to call it. Oh don't tell me I've left it on. Oh, it is on. That looked like it had been left on. Ah, it's working. I can see through it. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything but I've got three targets. I've numbered them one, two and three. And my plan is to shoot 10 into each one, 30 in total. As I said, I don't know if on the last one I'm going to start uh, running out of air pressure. And also, what I do, if I can find out where I've put my Pelgon oil. I believe it's called Pelgon, I'll go and fetch my oil. Hopefully you can see this, Crossman Pelgon oil. It's, uh, it's advised to put a little blob of this on top of your CO2 there every other every other capsule you use just to keep the seals moist and uh, stop them cracking and uh, giving your gun air leak so every other not every one but every other capsule I'll put a little blob on the top peace of mind that my seals in the gun are not going to all uh, dry out I suppose if you haven't got any of this, you could use CO2, uh, CO2. you could use 3 in 1 oil, I'm guessing. It'd be better than nothing. Oh, let's put this in. it I heard it go like that so now prime it nothing in there yep we're definitely in business now this is destructions I wonder what this was was for I thought it was a receipt but it's not it's the owner's manual instructions I must put that back in the box now there's the target holder with a target in there. It's an, uh, an, an it's not the target I'm actually going to be shooting in the video. It's just one I wanted to see how the uh, the gun sight set up. So I shall put I don't know two or three shots in that just to see uh, where the gun's shooting before I commence. And as I say, from where this camera is rested is where I'll be standing from, which is 12.6 meters, and to the bullseye, I think it's 14 40 millimeters. I was told somewhere that's the Olympic standard height for the bullseye, 1440. Whether I'm correct, I don't know. But uh, all right, let's commence.
too bright, turn it down, turn it down again, that'll do, three piles of 10 pallets here, now we'll see how we go, a block of wood on the floor, at a measured distance, me with me loudy t-shirt, and I've shot three shots, making sure that it is somewhere near on target before starting the video, here we go. There's no wasp in it, but there you go. One. Two. Let's see where that one went. I'll try and set it down if I can. so far this is what happens when you don't practice actually got a bit of a shaky arm now this I would like this um, this grip more sculpt sculpture so it fits your fingers and your hand it's not a very comfortable grip it's not the worst one but it's not it could be better Not good at all, is it? Bloody hell, this is shocking, this is. It's what happens if you don't shoot your pistol for a long time. But, at least everyone's gone in the target. That's what counts. I don't know what number we're on. About five, I should think, four or five. Noisy little uh, pistol. Can most definitely do with a uh, with a silencer. It's echoed in the kitchen. Yes, first target open is going to be the worst one because it's not good. It's not good. Bullseye. But at least they've all hit the target. Right, that's number one. Change the target. Could be a lot worse, but not that bad. I'll show you at the end of the uh, shooting session. Right. Number two. I'll work with one arm, really. And it depends on your trigger. The trigger doesn't feel too bad. It's not going to be as good as one of these really high end guns. And I've recently started leaving both eyes open instead of squinting with one. 
And I'm doing the same with the uh, rifle. It was hard at first, after years and years of closing one eye. The wind is blowing a little bit. I don't for one, uh, one minute think that's affecting my shooting. You can hear noises in the background. It's the wind. And an occasional wasp. There's a wasp nest somewhere. The miss, there was one last year and the missus uh, didn't realise, stood next to one of them. And then she was stung on the arm and the leg about six times. Ooh, that went high. I pulled that up as I pulled the trigger. But everyone's at the target. That's what can. I think I'll jack it in if uh, if you got that bad that I started missing the target. Or to put a third one in. Target number two. I'll have a look at him in a minute, in a minute when I'm finished. Oh that's ten shots. Now some of these might go a bit uh, a bit off target because the canister might be uh, getting to getting to the end of its life. It's not an excuse, by the way, it's a fact. Well, even if it does uh, start to expire, it can't make me shoot in any words, can it? Not sure where that one went, I can't see all of them. Only if it goes into the white or a light colour from here. 12.6 metres, whether that is in the eyes. Bullseye is fairly small on these targets, so I doubt if I'll hit any in there. Be a lucky one and drop that on the floor. That might be a bullseye special. It might have damaged the skirt on it, might accidentally go adrift and end up in the bull. Probably not. Well, number nine. Number nine, coming up. A shot. This will be 33 shots that this uh, canister's done. That's it, game over. Remember to turn the sight off, I'll also have no battery. Oh. So that was that. Another video concluded. Ironically, I fired three shots into this target before uh, the video was turned on just to see where the sights were going because it's been a while since I uh, since I used a gun. First shot I got in the bullseye and I thought blimey mech it's looking promising. <laughs> the next one I got in the number five ring and the next one the number eight. So it did look like it was going to be sort of alright. There's the first one. I've only got one one shot half penetrating the number five circle. We've got two out there on the borderline. They're the furthest ones from the bull, is those. I actually think the number two target is probably the best one. Um, I've got three in the, I've got none in the bull, but I've got three in the blue circle. Uh, the furthest one away is probably that one there in the number two. So a couple of inches away. So that's the best one. 
As far as a cluster of pellets goes, grouping, probably this one's probably the best one because there's one, two, three, four, five, six there, look. The third is one being this one. But it's a bit of fun, gives you something to do on a dull, a dull drab day, as it were. And I've managed to shoot my little pistol. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Any comments or remarks, leave them in the bottom. And I'll do this one again in the future for anybody what's interested. I know not, there's not that many people that are interested in sort of uh, pistol shooting videos, but uh, there you go. I have got one in the bag, a video to put up soon. And it's on my new, new to me rifle. I'll let you guess. Somebody's going to have probably a very accurate guess. I bought a rifle with a thumb hole stock, and currently to buy it new would cost you £1,099. So there's, there's a couple of clues. Anyhow, take care till the next one. Thanks for looking in. Thumbs up if you don't mind. Bye for now.